What's up, boys? It's your boy Scrub Killer back at again with a flip reset tutorial here. Yeah, so I, I did my last tutorial video. I did a wave dash tutorial. People really liked it. You guys really gave me great feedback on that. So thanks a lot, everyone. And um, so yeah, we're gonna do a, a flip reset tutorial today. So let's just get straight into it. Um, so a really, really important thing before I even get started really to talk about the mechanic itself. A really important note before I talk about it. I did write down some notes for this. Rocket League is a is a really difficult game. It takes countless it takes literally countless hours to get like the a grasp of this game. So flip resets are a very advanced mechanic. I'm not saying you shouldn't watch this video if you're not like a really good Rocket League player, but I'm, I would recommend to try and not even I wouldn't even worry about learning flip resets until you get to a much higher rank. And it's not even rank, it's about until you feel like you've got a really good grasp of the fundamentals of not only the game, but really you need to have really good car control in the air. At least at least to a certain level. You know, I can't really say what that level is, but you, you can't just you can't just like not know what you're doing in the air and and learn flip resets. It doesn't really make sense. You kind of learn them backwards. Yeah, and learn. I think learning flip resets on its own is actually not that difficult. But knowing how to implement it into a game and use it effectively is very, very difficult. And that's the thing with mecha mechanics. I don't really think mechanics are crazy difficult to learn, but learning how to actually implement them effectively is a completely, completely different thing. And another thing to note before we get into it, that I learned how to do flip resets when I had only air roll bound, like this air roll. So yeah, I learned using normal air roll, but I think that using air roll left would make it a lot easier if you, if you're trying to learn this mechanic because you you know it's kind of it's kind of obvious if you know you know and the car just turns itself. So yeah, I think using air roll left or right would make it easier as well. But yeah, let's just get straight into it. I'm gonna try and go over what makes it useful before I actually do it. Try and go over why why you actually want to use it. So Rocket League's all about. It's all about trying to have as many options as possible, you know. That's why that's why being on the ground is so good, right? Because you can do loads of options, and that's why being on that's why being in the air generally isn't as favoured as being in, on the ground. Because on the ground you can do anything basically, and in the air you're kind of stuck. But now flip resets adds a completely different dimension because if you get your flip in the air, now you're a lot more dynamic. You got a lot more options. Um, you know, let's let's say you let's say you hit like let's say you hit the ball off the ball like this, right? Trying to hit into the opponent's goal. If you just did an air dribble, okay, that's a very it's a very one-dimensional play. It's, you can only do a certain amount of things when you're just going like that with the ball boosting into it. So it's a very it's a very simple play. It's very easy to read for the opponents. But if you're gonna do a flip reset, right? Now you can wait with it and you can shoot. But not only that, so if you get a flip reset, you can shoot with the ball, literally anywhere. Um, you can do nothing with the ball, you can choose to literally just hit, you can literally wait like this, right? And do nothing with it. Um, you could pass it to a teammate. Um, you could let it land on the ground, and because you've got a flip, you can use your wave dash. When As soon as you land on the ground to, to catch the ball again, I'll show a demonstration of it. So these are all very, very, very useful things. and. The key thing here is you're getting a lot of options and you're very unpredictable. Okay? So that's a really important thing to get a grasp of. Like, look. See, I can just wave dash into it. Now, I wasn't even that clean, you know. I can do it more and more times to try and show it clearly, but... Get a flip reset. And look, you can catch it like that. And you can go really fast out of it, if you see what I'm saying. So, yeah, I'm trying to just show the usage right now. Very, very useful stuff. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that's, that's, about, that's about it for the, what I would think would make it useful. And now, the better and better you get at flip resets, you can literally use it completely anywhere on the pitch. Because if you're so good at it, you can just do it anytime. Um, yeah, so now we're going to go on how to actually try and learn it. So... I think when you want to learn a mechanic in Rocket League, the easiest way to learn any mechanic in the game is breaking it down into smaller and more manageable steps. So uh, I did. I've, I've watched quite a few flip reset tutorials to try and to try and figure out how people learn it. 
because I learned it many years ago. So I think what we're going to do right, we're going to use this training pack called Kev Pert's Aerial Car Control Pack, and that is a code right there. And now, I've seen this guy, a guy did this in his tutorial, and honestly, my tutorial, I'm taking bits and pieces from different tutorials, but I'm trying to make it a more concise and complete tutorial. So yeah, we're just going to start with this, and the reason we're starting with this, right, is because you can literally focus, now you only have 10 seconds, so you have to be kind of quick, but you can literally focus on only going for the flip reset. Only getting the flip reset, right? So it takes away the whole aspect of you have to set the ball up and you have to do it in a very limited time frame. So you see that you're taking those things away, you're making it much easier for yourself to learn. Um, so yeah, if, you, um, if you're watching this video, I'm just assuming, I need to assume that you've got competent aerial car control. Because if you want to be able to do a flip reset, okay, a, a lot of the time... You need to you need to get under the ball. The easiest way to get a flip reset is getting by is getting all four wheels under the ball, right? So you need to be able to fly upside down like this and make that adjustment last second. And what I would what I would do is you want to boost into it, but not too fast, okay? And a little bit before you hit the ball, you want to let go of boost. So we're just gonna we're gonna boost for this, right? And you see how I let go? I let go. A fraction before I hit. The reason why I let go is so I can make a tiny little adjustment at the very end. And this is very important, guys, okay? So this is your approach. And you're just going to approach it like a normal aerial. And then last second, you want to try and turn all four wheels into the car. And now this is difficult to explain, which is why you have to do it yourself. Um, and if, if you do this trade impact and you... You hit the ball like this thousands and thousands of times. I, I can guarantee you, you're going to get a really good feel. You're going to get a really good feel. And don't worry about scoring it. Don't worry about scoring this. Uh, you know, if you want to score it and you, you want to try and score it, then go for it. But I wouldn't really worry about it. Literally focus, right, on getting the flip reset. Like that. And focus on getting it as many different ways as you can. I didn't even get it at that time. See, even I'm not, I'm not even perfect at it. See, I got that time. So maybe we can try and come around from a different... Let's do a different... Yeah, we'll do this shot. Do a little spin. Like that. Try to come in from different angles. Maybe even... We'll go straight below the ball. Oh, I didn't even get it, so... Making myself look kind of silly right now, but... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Honestly, guys, I would just do this training pack, and I would literally, I'm not joking, right? If you want to learn a mechanic, you must do it thousands and thousands of times. So, I would say you want to you wanna be doing this training pack, guys. You want to hit a flip reset a thousand times, more than a thousand times. Like, a couple thousand times. Until you really get a feel for it, because it will take a little while, right? And once you feel like you do this for as long as you want, keep coming back to it. And do whatever you want with it. And once you feel like you've got a really good feel for it, okay? We're going to move to the the next stage. So we're going to... I use this training pack called Wall to Air Dribble. And now, there's lots and lots of, uh, like, Wall to Air Dribble, I think. Like, wall shots, I'm sure this would work. Ones where the ball will roll up the wall, you're going to see in a second. Um, it, it, it rolls up the wall like this. So yeah, I would I would try and find a training pack like this, okay? So, how do we want to try and learn this? So, I'm going to try and mention a couple of key aspects that are really essential to you getting this um, off the wall. So the, the, the number one thing, guys, you want to try and jump as soon as you hit the ball. As soon as you hit... You want you don't wanna you don't wanna do that and stay on the wall. You can do it, you can do it, right? But I would recommend to just jump, jump as soon as you hit the ball, just like that. So you're, because if you jump right away, you're following the ball very close to. Look at this, right? Well, that was terrible. Very close. You see that? Very close. You're very close to it already. So you don't have to do as much boosting before you hit it. Because obviously if you're going to go like that, you need to boost more to hit the ball. So if you just jump straight with it, you can follow it. So I would really recommend to do that. So if you've got the, if you've got it down right, 
what you want to do is boost like that over and over again like I didn't even get a flip reset that time um, and how do I know if I get a flip reset or not I've I've literally guys I've done so many so many flip resets that I basically 100% know when I'm gonna get it or not just because I can feel it you, you get like this you can sort of feel when you get it your car kinda I just really can't explain it guys you need to just know you know you need to know yourself but your car kinda bounces off the, slaps off the ball a bit your car will kinda slap off the ball and um, but you need to get a feel for it yourself but yeah Really just focus, right? Constantly getting this reset. And you can do what you want with it, okay? You can wait a bit. Okay, let's try something else, maybe. We'll try a flick. Like that. And um, maybe try another flick here. That was kind of a flick. And I follow it like that. Maybe we'll try a shot this time. Okay, it wasn't the best shot, but you understand that it was still a shot at the end of the day. That was a, that was kind of a flick. Um, so yeah, you want to really practice, just practice this, guys. Practice this. And I'm going to show you a very, very useful tool. If you did watch my Wave Dash tutorial that I that came out with a couple weeks ago, my first tutorial, and you know how to Wave Dash, which, let me tell you something, you should know how to Wave Dash before this mechanic, trust me. Movement, a, a simple movement mechanic is much more important to learn than a very advanced mechanic on the ball, right? So this is what we're going to practice. Getting the flip preset and wave dashing and controlling the ball. Guys, really practice this mechanic if you can flip preset. This is how to take your game to the next level. Like, practice um, getting the flip preset and wave dashing and trying to catch the ball so you're using your reset to wave dash and this is such an amazing thing to do because flip resets are a very committal play when you go for a shot with a flip reset not only are you, you you're going to be using a lot of your boost but you're also flipping into the opponent's goal you're flipping into their half while you're you're halfway in the air you understand what I'm getting at? That you're like a you're like a flying you're like a flying squirrel. You know, it's it's not it's not very good to be honest. If the opponent is opponent can make counter attacks, so instead maybe you want to practice doing this, getting the reset and just landing with the ball. And trust me, trust me, this is gonna work extremely well because you can fake your. Let's say your opponent went. Okay, so let's say your opponent right. He's in, let's say he's in the air right now, okay? He's about to challenge you. And he, he knows that you got the reset. You don't use it, and you just wait. And either he might just fly straight over you, and uh, you'll just get an easy goal. Or maybe you'll, you'll like 50-50 it with him. But you've got your wave dash. This guy will not have his wave dash because he just went up to challenge it without the reset. So you've got so much options you can do straight out of this, okay? And let's say there's there's two opponents, all right? You, you're in a 1v2 situation, you're going for a flip reset goal. One guy flies up, one guy stays in the goal. You fake the first guy, quick wave dash, bottom corner flick. How many players at your rank will be able to deal with this? Really, how many players at your rank will be able to deal with that quick wave dash, the speed of that wave dash, straight into the flick? And if you can get this down, I promise you, it's, it's one of the most, it's an amazing skill, an amazing skill to have. Fainting the wave dash, fainting the flip reset into a wave dash, into whatever you want to do. It could be into a flick, could be into a shot as well. Look, you can, remember, you, if you can time it right, guys, you can do anything out of a wave dash. So let's try and get, let's try and get a nice bounce shot with this as well. That was, okay. You understand that the shot wasn't the best, okay? I suck, I suck. But you understand that if you didn't suck like me and you could actually shoot it well, then it would go a lot better. So now for the final part of this tutorial, guys, I, I, I don't wanna go on too much this tutorial. I wanna make it quite concise. Gonna touch over multiple flip resets, just a tiny bit. So yeah, 
like wave dashing, like wave dashing, every, every you know there's levels to this stuff, guys. Like wave dashing, how you can chain dash. You can also do multiple flip resets, and there, there's two ways to do multiple flip resets. Okay, so I am I am terrible at multiple flip resets, um, and there's not many people in the world that are actually probably good at them, but. I'm gonna try and gonna try and explain how they're done. So this is the difficult way, the first way. You try to get a double flip. Re okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get some clips in. Okay, I'm gonna get Guan to put some clips in. I'm just briefly touching over this. I am not very good at this, guys. In fact, I'm terrible. The way to do multiple flip presets, okay, is by stalling. So, oh, okay then. Oh my God. It's, it's literally like, it's just in my head that I'm not doing it right now. Okay, there we go. There there we go. So this is a stall. Okay? I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna explain how it works. If you wanna know how to do a stall, you're gonna have to look at a different tutorial. And let me just say, guys, that uh, multiple flip resets are so, so situational. They're so incredibly difficult to pull off and incredibly situational and incredibly difficult. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. I wouldn't even think about that stuff. I just kind of wanted to touch over it a little bit because I like to have an in-depth tutorial that covers everything. But I would not worry about it, guys. I'm just sort of letting you know that it's a thing. Don't worry about that. So yeah, I hope that flip reset tutorial helped you guys. I hope I could maybe, you know, assist you a little bit. And honestly, guys, my biggest advice is just to do those training packs. But yeah, guys, flip resetting is a very, very, very useful skill. But please, just guys, you need to remember what I said at the start of the video, okay? You don't, you don't even have to worry about this mechanic until you're in, in Grand Champ. That I've, I've said that, I've said it, guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. More tutorials coming your way, boys. Gonna have way more tutorials in the works. I want to make a tutorial for everything, basically. I'm not even joking. Like everything. So, yeah, let me know what you guys want. I'm going to do a kickoff tutorial on a speed flip tutorial very soon. But, yeah, I'll see you later, boys. Much love, much love.